Hi guys. I have something on my heart that I want to share with you today. I had an experience that God spoke to me. Uh, it was last Thursday and um, I was at the Morning Star Conference. My family, we had gone over there to uh, just to relax and to enjoy the presence of God and um, to spend time with them. We just, we love that ministry so much, so we jump over there every chance we get. It's about an hour away from our home, but they have a lot of conferences, so so we do go over pretty often to uh, to enjoy that, to enjoy their conferences. But one thing I really enjoy about that ministry is the freedom that you have in, in their house to worship God freely without worrying about an usher kicking you out the back door <laughs> or people, uh, you know, giving you looks for so freely worshiping God. And the worship is awesome, so we enjoy going over there. But anyway, I was worshiping the Lord, and the Lord spoke to me. I, actually, I was standing up, and I was dancing some. I'm a dancer. I love to dance for the Lord. Uh, but I don't do it too much in public because it makes me self-conscious. But uh, I, was, I was dancing a little bit, and the Lord spoke to me, and he said, He said, Why don't you dance for me anymore? And that kind of shocked me. I said, but Lord, I am dancing for you. And then I started having memories come into my mind. Pictures of a long time ago. A time in my life when God, you know, I was saved when I was only five. And I was much older. Uh, Amanda was a baby at the time. And I was just so hungry for the Lord. The Lord had really just set me on fire for Him. And and I was just so hungry, and I wanted more of him. And you know, it was just God was working in my life. And uh, and I couldn't worship that way in the church that I was in. But in my home, I would just go after God, and and uh, the Lord Himself taught me how to go into the secret place of the Most High. And I spent a lot of time there. And I would dance before the Lord with all of my heart. And, uh, and he reminded me of that, how him and I used to have that intimate time. And I'm going to be honest with you, there was times when, when I sensed, I knew that the Lord was dancing with me. And there was times when I knew that he was, he was watching me. I could just feel him watching me, and I know it was my heart, my, the passion in my heart and my love for him. And I wouldn't dance all the time. Sometimes I just lay on the floor, <laughs> just lay on the floor, just loving him and just receiving his love and just communing with him in, in the secret place. And uh, just discovering him and learning about his heart, learning who he was and how much he loved me. And that was that was such a glorious time, you know. And um, you know, and the Lord was saying that I missed that, you know, and. Here's the thing. I have a close relationship with the Lord. I really do. You know, I can I know how to go into the presence of the Lord. And I know how to hear his voice and and I've never, you know, since that time in my life more than 20 years ago until now I've never what I would think had been backslidden. You know, I've always loved the Lord, spent time praying, spent time in his word, spent time working for him and loving on him, you know. But uh, but the Lord made me see that something was missing in our relationship and that that the intimacy was not where it used to be. And he was and he told me, you know, he he told me I mean he just wrecked me, he messed me up that night <laughs> at Morning Star. He just he just messed me up and I was laying on the floor crying and repenting. You know, asking the Lord to forgive me for, you know, for you know, I had I had stopped being a, a Mary and I had become a Martha. You know, and you know, in, in Jesus now we had a we have a very close relationship. So it's not that, it's not that we weren't close anymore. You know, it's sort of like a husband and a wife, you know, that over time the passion leaves their relationship. You know, their marriage is good, they have a good relationship, they have a good marriage, they have a close marriage, but they become more like friends. You know, and I think that you know, I think that's what you know, the Lord was saying that, that he missed he missed that when when I would come into his presence just to love on him. Just just to just to love on him and to and 
to, to, to desire to dance for him the way I used to, to pour my love out to him through the dance. And uh, instead of, you know, every time I come to him, I come to intercede for, for the saints. I come to pray. You know, I come to do spiritual warfare. Or I come to, because I have a question, I need a direction from the Lord. Or I need a word from the Lord. Or somebody I know, you know, is asking me to help them to get a word from the Lord. So, so I'm always coming to Him wanting something or needing something, you know. Or, you know, or, or working. I come to Him to work with Him. You know, and uh, and all that's good. Don't don't think that I'm saying everything I just named is good. He he likes it. He wants us to. He wants us to intercede. He wants us to pray for the saints. He wants us to pray for ourselves. He wants us, you know, to come to him for direction. Very much. He wants all of that stuff. So it wasn't that I was doing anything wrong. Everything I was doing was right. But I was leaving. But I have forgotten, and I had you know, left that part, and he so much wanted that, and he told me that he really misses it. He really misses that part of mine and his relationship. And uh, and it's really odd because just recently the Lord gave me a word for a young man, and the Lord said basically the same thing. He told him that first, you know, that he missed the relationship that they had and that he wants that fellowship back with him. You know, and uh, <laughs> and then not too long after that, a week or so after that, the Lord, you know, says the same thing to me about a particular, relate, you know, that part of our relationship. So anyway, needless to say, the very day after, and that's been almost a week ago, Thursday, not quite a week, but but you know, I've I've definitely been <laughs> coming into His presence. For nothing, for no other reason, you know, saying, "Lord, I'm not here for a word. You know, I'm not here. I'm not here for direction. I'm not here even to pray for anybody right now. I'm just here because I want to sp spend time with you." And uh, and going back to that time of just just dancing before Him and dancing for Him and dancing with Him, and that may sound crazy to some of you guys, but I'm telling you that. That, that the dance is a powerful way to express your heart, your passion for the Lord. You know, it's not for other people, even though it, it, it is powerful. It does break chains off of other people when they watch you dance in the Spirit. But, uh, but I'm not even talking about that right now. I'm talking about uh, poor, you, you know, using your whole body as an expression of your love and your passion for the Lord. Um... But since I started doing that again, I mean, I'm just, I'm, it's, I can't even describe it. I mean, all of heaven has just opened up and, you know, prophetic words have, have always, you know, they've been coming for the last, I don't know how long, eight or nine months, revelation. You know, ever since the Lord told me, I can't even remember when it was, I don't know, eight months ago or so that, that the heavens were going to be opened and that revelation knowledge was going to be poured out and you know he was that, that that was not just for me but for the saints of God that he was beginning to, to reveal because there was so much deception that that you know knowledge from him was coming to his children since that time absolutely just dreams and visions constantly prophetic words but in revelation but since I in the last few days it's just all the more it's just it's overwhelming his love and his heart, you know, him speaking and just drop and making me understand things that I've not ever been taught before, things I've never seen before, and uh, just giving me revelations. And, and I know it's only the beginning. And God wants to do that for you too. He wants to, you know, he, you know, he's calling his church into the secret place. You know, he's calling us to, to, um, to come into that place of intimacy. He's calling us to intimacy, guys. You know, the whole church. And, you know, I just wish that there was some way that I could suddenly have the ear of the whole church to tell them how much God loves them and how much He wants them to come into that secret place, into the Holy of Holies of the Most High God. 
and have that one-on-one, -on -one, I mean one-on-one. -on -one. Corporate worship is fantastic. I love it. But there is nothing like the one-on-one -on -one fellowship with the Lord, the one-on-one -on -one with Him. That's what He wants. That's what He's seeking with each one of us. And He's just so big and so mighty and so awesome. You know, He can spend time one-on-one. -on -one. He can spend one-on-one -on -one with millions of us at the same time because He's so big and so never-ending and so amazingly awesome. But anyway, I want to share one scripture with you. It is Psalms 104, and it says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. So guys, if you want to enter into the secret place of the Most High, maybe there's some that will listen that will say, I don't know how to do what she's talking about. Well, this is, this is the way you do it. I mean, it's just, you know, whenever you just close your eyes and you begin to think about the Lord and meditate on the Lord, instantly, you know, you go into the realm of the Spirit. But if you want to enter in deeper and deeper, that scripture talks about uh, his, his courts, you know, his, his outer courts and his inner courts, you know, and then we know that beyond the, in, the outer and the inner courts is the Holy of Holies. So the way that we really began to go in is to remember, the Lord taught me this, that without, you know, that without faith, we, we, you know, we can't touch the Lord, we can't see the Lord. You know, we have everything in God's kingdom, even salvation, comes by faith, and praising God raises our faith. So the Lord wants us to begin just to remember His goodness, to remember His faithfulness, to remember all the times that he delivered you out of the pit. That You know, remember how he saved you. Remember how he cleansed you. Remember how he maybe saved you from near death. You know, things that he's done for your family. Things that he's done for you all of your life. He, I mean, he's been with you since you were in your mother's womb. And, and as a child of God, I know you have many, many testimonies and many memories. So remember the things that the Lord has done for you. And then as you do that, you know, you enter into his courts with thanksgiving. And then you go on in, you enter into his gates, sorry, with thanksgiving. And then you enter into his courts with praise. Your, your heart will just, your soul will just begin to soar into the heavenlies. And your, your, your soul, your spirit, your soul will just begin to, to, um, to praise him from the very depths of your being. You know, it'll just be coming from the very depths. You know, you, you'll start out in the flesh, but trust me, you will end in the spirit if you will do it. You know, put on a CD, put on a good worship CD, and it will help you because it just helps to cut through the atmosphere. It helps to uh, push back the forces of darkness. It just helps you to enter in better and to focus on the Lord and begin to love Him and worship Him and just, you know, give Him thanksgiving and give Him praise. And if you do this, if you just stay with it before you know it, you will be just falling over into the Holy of Holies. You know, and you will just have a head-on collision with God Almighty. And you'll be in His arms, and, and don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry. Stay in that place with Him. And just, you know, don't, you know, just, just love on Him and listen to Him. You know, and yes, if you have questions, it's okay. It's okay to ask Him, but, but learn how. Practice the presence of God. Practice spending time in His presence. Guys, He's calling us. He's calling us into His presence. Nothing's more important right now. You know, I know you're busy. We're all busy. You know, I was, you know I'm was. You know, i so busy just working for God, and He appreciates it. I'm not doing one single thing right now that I know of He hasn't asked me to do. But nevertheless, he's, and, and he, he appreciates it. I know He does. He lets me know how much He appreciates my dedication but he still don't want me to neglect the better part the better part sitting at his feet loving him entering into the holy of holies and spending intimate time nothing's more valuable i promise you guys if you will do this it will change your life if you will take time every day to enter into the holy of holies go in just to love on him Go in there just to get to know Him. It will change your life. Well, I have uh, quite a few prophetic words 
that the Lord has been giving me that I know are important. And I am going to be bringing them to you in separate videos. But I felt like the Lord just wanted me to talk for a little bit about that place of intimacy and give my own testimony that, that though I, I have a very close relationship, I was still neglecting something and the Lord convicted me of it. And, uh, and so I've returned to that. I've returned to my first love, the passion, the passion of my relationship with Jesus. Well, God loves you. I love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.